Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I gonna show you how to add accessories with physics to your MetaHuman. Like this earring for example. I got this simple static mesh from sketchfab.com. Link in the description. To start off, drag the earring to the viewport and switch to the modeling mode. Click on X form and edit pivot. Drag the pivot point to where the earring should be fixed to the ear and hit accept. Drag your metahuman to the viewport as well. And scale the earring mesh to the approximate final size. And hit bake transform. Accept and switch back to the selection mode. Now we need to convert this static mesh to a skeletal mesh. Choose create new and set the root bone to bottom center. Double click on the skeletal mesh to open it up. Make sure you enabled the skeletal mesh editing tools plugin. Click on skeleton and edit skeleton. Select the root bone and click the add button. We want to add two new bones. The first one is the anchor bone. So click up here where the earring will be fixed to the ear. The second bone is the hanger bone on which the physics will be applied. Rename the bones to anchor and hanger. Then hit accept. Switch to the skin tab and choose edit weights. Select the anchor bone. Select mesh as the edit mode and select mesh faces. Then select a part of the upper geometry and click on flood. Now the whole part is selected. In the edit weights section click on replace with a value of 1 and hit accept. Select the hanger bone and do the same steps by selecting all the other parts of the earring. Click on replace and hit accept. Now the weights are perfectly separated to the bones. Okay. Right click on the skeletal mesh, choose create, physic asset and create and assign. Leave everything to its default and click on create asset. Click here and select show all bones. Normally Unreal Engine automatically creates these body capsules for our bones. But if not, you can easily add them by right clicking on the bone. Create bodies and create bodies with capsule. Both capsules should, as shown here, cover the mesh area of the bone. Select the anchor capsule and set the physics type to kinematic. Select the hanger capsule and set the physics type to simulated. Depending on your mesh, you can play around with the following settings. For this mesh I use a mass of 0.2, a linear damping of 0.2 and I leave the angular damping to 0. Search for iteration and set the position solver to 12 and the velocity solver to 8. You can play around with these settings as well. Then search for CCD and turn the continuous collision detection on. OK. If this window is empty, just select one of the capsules. There should be an automatically generated constraint between the anchor and the hanger. If not, just right click on anchor, constraints and click on hanger to create one. Select the constraint. In its details panel, set the linear limits of all axes to locked. Should be the default value. 
Then set all the angular limits to limited and choose a value for the max angle. I leave all on 45 degree. Search for projection. Enable it and set the linear tolerance to 0.05 and the angular tolerance to 0.8. Search for collision and disable it. We don't want collision between anchor and hanger. Save and close. The next step is optional, but these settings reduce trailing during fast animations. Go to the Edit menu and to Project Settings. Search for Substepping and turn it on. Set the max substeps to 6. Finally, we can add the earring to our MetaHuman. Open up the MetaHuman blueprint. Switch to the viewport, select the face component and double-click the skeletal mesh asset. If your viewport looks like this, just click on the eye symbol, go to bones and select none. Let's add a socket to the ear bone to place our earring. Search for ear and select the lowest ear bone 4. Right-click and add socket. Name it whatever you want. Search for your created socket, right-click and add Preview Asset. Add the skeletal mesh earring. Now you can scale, rotate and position it until it looks good. When done, hit Save and switch back to the blueprint. Select the face component, hit the plus button and add a skeletal mesh component. Name it and drag and drop the skeletal mesh of the earring to the details panel and choose your just created socket as the parent socket. Turn on the physics simulation. And in the collision settings, set the collision preset to Physics Actor. If you want the earring to collide with a metahuman, you need to set the collision preset of the metahuman face to Block All. Compile and save. Let's test this out. First, we can delete the static mesh earring from the beginning. Create a new level sequence and drag your metahuman to the timeline. Add an animation or just hit simulate and turn the head manually to see the result. I quickly add an animation. Now we need to simulate. And here we go. Real-time physics attached to our metahuman. If you've got issues with the collision, you can click on the eye symbol and check collision to see where the colliders are. You can adjust the bodies and the physics asset of the earring to get a perfect result. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it and it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!